All right, guys, happy Friday. Uh, today, we got some strength work, but a little bit of endurance work on the side as well. So how this works, we're gonna roll for 14 minutes. Um, every two minutes on the minute, we're gonna do five back squats. So we're kind of doing, um, you could say, a six by five back squat, uh, or like your typical day that we're doing back squats, except this time, instead of just sitting around, resting, I want you to be on the rower and you're gonna recover on the rower. So starting, um, you're gonna go on the zero mark. So at zero, zero, you're gonna do five back squats. Then once you've done those five, you're gonna jump on the rower and you're gonna row for the next two minutes until the next two minute mark hits. Once the two minute mark hits, you do another five back squats. That means for the weights, guys, I want you to be around 70, 75% of your one rep max approximately, or have some plates by you so you can do a quick exchange and put your weights on top. I don't want your weights to be out uh, by the uh, weight area, guys. Have the weights that you're deciding to use for the workout, have them nearby so you can make a quick exchange if you want to increase in weight. If you're gonna stay the same across, it feels like a 70%, 75%, perfect. Stay there and try to recover on the rower every round when you do your uh, a rowing after your back squats. So we're working on maintaining strength under some fatigue. The pace on the rower does not have to be fast. Just as long as you're moving on the rower, that's it. No calories, no certain meters that you need to get. I just need you to be keeping up a pace on the rower. If you want something to think about in terms of how fast you should be going approximately, look at the top right corner of your screen. There should be an SPM. Um, so strokes per minute, try to keep that at least a minimum of 20. Okay. So if you get 20 strokes per minute, perfect. Try not to get below that as you're doing your recovery row. Workout, AMRAP 10. This is a beast of a workout, real short, but we're getting that intensity nice and high. And that's what we're working on today. Working on building, um, that high intensity pace and that threshold, trying to hold on to that pace as for as long as we can and some endurance alongside that. We got an AMRAP 10, an ascending rep scheme of power cleans at 135.95 and box, burpee box jump overs at 24 and 20. So with the power cleans, if you're new to them, go from the hang position for today. If you're comfortable with your power cleans, you know you can rep out these power cleans, then go from the floor. So I want you to choose the progression based on what your skill level is here, because we're gonna keep a high intensity pace and I don't want you to be focusing overly on each of the movements. That doesn't mean to ignore form. I just want you to choose a progression that feels like second nature. So that when you are in this workout, you're keeping that pace up and getting the stimulus out of the workout. Same idea with the burpee box jump overs. Pick a progression where you can keep that um, pace up the entire time. 24, 20 is too high. Go a little lower so you can keep that pace up more, okay? I would say try to aim to get into the round of eight or more in this workout. It's gonna be hard and fast and it's gonna get that heart rate up spike real fast, especially once you're in the round of four and five. It's a matter of just maintaining a good a pace. I would say 80 to 90% of what you think your max is. That's how fast you should be going in this workout. And again, it's only 10 minutes, so we're keeping that intensity high to really work on that system of that anaerobic system in a 10 minute time range. Once we're done that, extras, if you're looking for more of a workout, you want some extra conditioning, you got an eight minute row for meters, so you're trying to get as many meters done, but every two minutes on the minute, you're gonna be doing 50 double unders before you can get back on the rower. Um, if you'd like to do this on the bike as well, go for it. There's miles on the bike, or if you wanna use calories, you can do that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. We'll see you tomorrow for Saturday's workout.